Hello everyone, welcome back to Microsoft Flight Simulator once again. Today we're going to the shortest runway in the world. The shortest commercial runway that is, that has commercial service, including this exact airplane, the Twin Otter in Win Air Colors. We are in St. Martin and we're going to Saba today. And welcome aboard this wonderful Twin Otter today. We're gonna go ahead and remove our flight controls here just like that. I wanna say a big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring this video. I am now a Thrustmaster ambassador and we're using the TCA Boeing yoke pack today with the yoke and the throttle quadrant and using my Thrustmaster TPRs uh, for the rudder pedals. Everything will be linked in the description below if you want to check it out there. Okay, overhead panel, we're gonna get our anti-collision and position lights ready to go here and turn our DC master on and external battery comes on as well. Ignitions will be good to go there and then we can go our boost pumps to the on position. Both, both of those are good to go there and our flight controls are free and correct here as we have removed that. Fantastic. We're going to TNCS today, so let's put that in here. Right there, hit enter on that guy and activate it. Fantastic. We're gonna start the right engine first today, so let's go ahead and hit right all over there to that. And we're watching down here on the gas gen for 12%. As it climbs and down here, I'm gonna use this for my mixture. And about 12% right there, bring that forward. And we have the engine starting. Watch in here for torque. Everything here, make sure we're not getting a hot start. Everything looks great. And we can confirm, but we have a good engine start over there. All right, let's start engine number one, and I'm gonna let you watch it from the outside view. And that's a good engine start. Let's get our engine gens on here. We'll be using flaps 10 today for departure. That looks good there. And our trim wheel back here is set for takeoff. We're all good to go there. Bring our props forward just a little bit here so we can get the prop RPM where we want it. I'm happy with that. Go ahead and release the parking brake. We're clear on left and clear on the right. We're just gonna go straight and taxi down to runway one zero. All right, we're going up to 2,400 feet today, so we can put that in our altitude alerter here, so we can, okay, don't wanna move around too much there because it doesn't like that. There we go, just like that, perfect. Uh, that is what we are gonna be cruising at today. One thing that's really cool about this Boeing TCA yoke is that it's on a pendular system, just like you see here uh, in the Twin Otter, and like you would see in a Boeing uh, 737, 787 is what it's actually modeled after, or the 747, and you can see there, same thing with that and it's very unique there's nothing else out on the market that uh, that does this double check both of our bleeds are on yes they are those are good to go we are ready for takeoff on runway one zero no ATC or anything like that so we're not worried about it we'll pull out onto the runway and then we'll go forward on our props and then we will advance power holding the brakes we'll get up to 80 knots and we'll be in the air, and we're gonna make a right-hand turn right after we rotate. Not a very long flight to Saba today, so not worried about that. We're gonna go ahead and go forward on our props here. That looks good to me. And that is the correct runway, runway one zero. Winds are out of the east, and we're gonna deal with it coming into uh, Saba as well. So come to a stop here. And this airplane is STOL stole capable, so short takeoff and landing. You hear that little pump whirring, that is uh, just repressurizing after we use the uh, flaps. So let's go ahead and bring our power up here. Hold it about right there and release our brakes. A little bit of a crosswind there, so be ready for it. Out of the left. Our airspeed's looking good here. Here's 80 knots, just ease on back. Doesn't take much to get off the ground, just like that. And we can start our turn to the right. Over the bay. Airplane will complain to us about bank ankle, but we're not worried about it. And we make our way this way over the cruise ships and all the people down there. I use an awesome scenery pack for 
not only this airport, but also the ships and boats you see around here. I'll have everything linked in the description if you want to check it out. And that's where we're going right over there, that big, huge island off our nose. So now, we'll pull our power back a little bit here. We'll bring our flaps in before we produce our props here like this, but that's all we want to do right there. We have a good one to go on the climb, 1,000 feet to go. So hand flying today, not using any autopilot. Airplane does have an autopilot system in it, but we're not going to be using it today. No need for it. We have leveled off at 2,400 feet, just kind of dancing around the clouds as we are indeed flying VFR today. So we won't be flying into clouds if we, we don't have to. We pulled our power back. I'm happy with all of that right now. It's a short cruise, not very long at all. Right off the nose. And uh, yeah, there's a ton of different airports in the world that have really short runways. But for commercial use with a twin, you know, otter like this that has turboprops, um, yeah, you're gonna see just how crazy this is. We won't be buttering any landings. We're gonna be trying to put this thing down on the numbers as soon as possible. Full reverse thrust, hard on the brakes. It's gonna be rocky. As we're flying along here, I do wanna say it is just an absolute uh, honor to be in the position I am where I get to make not only flight simulation content, but have opportunities to work with companies like Thrustmaster. Uh, you know, when I was a younger kid, we had Thrustmaster products in our house in the 90s. Um, so to be working with them today is a absolute dream come true. I do love their products. Uh, it's, trust me, I know, and I'm extremely humbled, the fact that I get a piece of kit like this for free and I get to review it for uh, all of you. So uh, those things don't go unnoticed, trust me. But uh, an ambassadorship for the Thrustmaster brand it's, it's amazing. I have three major sponsors here on this channel, Thrustmaster, Next Level Racing, and uh, my PC is Jetline Systems. That makes amazing PCs for flight simulation uh, and all your needs you need with that. So if you want to check out those sponsors, you can always do that. I will have them linked. We're getting close. We can start our descent now, just ever so slightly. We're going to get around these clouds here. But that is the airport right off our nose at 12 o'clock. Not going to make a change to anything here. And it's very interesting. I watch a lot of Twin Otter pilots fly these uh, down here in the Caribbean. And they put their props fully forward at the la pretty much the last second before they're on final approach there. So that's what we're going to do to maintain the best speed we can towards the airport. And as we get around this cloud right now, a little bit more to the left, looking good. I'm gonna make sure I have everything ready to go for the arrival, including our landing replay. I use Sky Dolly for that. Okay, we are clear of the clouds here and I'm gonna start my right turn for a long left base to the runway. We're gonna aim right for these cliffs here in our descent, get to about I don't know, 1,200 feet or so, and we'll be looking good on the final approach. So it's that tiny little point right here off the the island there, and that is the runway right along there. It's, it's really, really, really tiny and short. So we're continuing our descent right now, expecting a crosswind from the left. A pretty decent one, too, based off of the white caps we see down there on the, the waves. I'm expecting a pretty gusty arrival so should be fun should be challenging this is always a challenge to land here and a little bit more down all right we're clear of those clouds awesome because we're flying vfr today and we're pretty much going to be good to go now i have my recording software if you see in the landing replay it being real stuttery i i don't know what's causing that there's nothing i can do about it it's just kind of part of the landing replay system until they get like a full one built in i'm using sky dolly but, and I know they have their own now. All right, let's pull our power back here. Start slowing the airplane up. We can put our 10 degrees of flaps in at around 103 knots, just outside of the white band there. So that's what we plan to do. That's the runway right there. That little guy right along there. Pretty crazy, I know. All 
right. We want to be about 1,200 feet or so, which we're about to right now. So using a little bit more of our trim. And we're not going to push those props forward till we're on short final. All right, this is actually pretty good. 1,000 feet is not bad. Let's bring that nose up. It's going to bleed some speed off here. Anywhere between 1,000 and 1,200 is what I usually shoot for here. And there's 100 knots there. A little bit more power back, we're going to be able to bring 10 degree flap in. So let's do that. There we go. The key is to get set up early for a stole arrival here. And once we get into the band, we can go to the next setting of flap actually here. Using track IR to look around freely if you're wondering. That's what we're doing. Okay. A little bit further and then we'll start our turn to final approach. There we go. A little bit more power here. Here's our turn, looking good. You wanna get up next to these cliffs here. But remember, that wind's gonna be pushing us to the right, so, and you can see it right there. Yeah, that's pretty gusty, man. That's gonna be interesting. All right, we got the 500 call there. There's the runway. A little bit further on the power there, and they go fully forward on our props, but dump our flaps in here. Looking okay right now. Yeah, you can see that wind pushing us to the right. So I want to get the airplane nose to the left, just like this. That way we're flying like this, you know? But I can feel the wind off these rocks here. I don't want to get too slow. Shooting for about 70 knots or so, 72 knots for this particular arrival. Yeah, look at these winds, man. <laughs> That's fun. Like I said, it's not going to be a greasy landing by any means. We're just going to put this thing down on the numbers and come to a stop. But one thing I've noticed with the flight model in this Twin Otter is it does not like crosswinds, especially on the, the rollout of the landing. So we'll see how this goes. Pull our power a little bit back here. A little too fast. All right, we're looking okay here. Yeah, that is gusty winds, man. All right, cool. Looking good. Our power a little bit further here. There you go, a little bit of right rudder here. We're down, full right rudder. There we go, reverse thrust and into the brakes. Jeez, this thing is acting crazy. Oh, those winds, man, that was spicy arrival. And you see how tiny this runway is? Yeah, I wasn't lying. Oh my gosh, that was fun. All right, left turn here, we'll taxi back. Use our right thrust here to help. That was a spicy arrival for sure. But that's what makes it so much fun. I right, bring our flaps up completely. Yeah, you can see the nose. The airplane kind of wants to nose off, so. I don't know, that's something that I've noticed with this Twin Otter, like I said, in the flight model. It's, it's not 100% there. I, I hope they fine tune it, especially with the new sim update that's coming to fix some turbo prop issues. And this is the ramp. But I'll let you watch the replay. Remember, it's gonna be stuttery. Nothing I can do.
Okay, they pretty much parked these things nose towards the runway here. So we're watching here on the right, looking good. All the way to the right, use our left thrust. You can see that little knob there, the nose wheel steering knob. That's what they used to, to turn these airplanes on the ground. There we go, just like that's pretty good. All right, fantastic stuff, man. Pull the parking brake here. There we go. And we can shut our engines down right here. Right one and left one. Clean up the airplane. All right, bleeds are off. We have gens off. All our lights are off. Fantastic. Those are all up and we can shut down the batteries and DC master as well. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you next time. Take care.